Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the infinite series. Today we will discuss the most important concept about the series called as absolute and conditional convergent of an alternating series. Remember this concept is applicable only for the alternating series. Myself Dr. Ghar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Ghar for finding the various videos. What we have discussed in the last lecture, we have discussed the Leibniz test related to the convergence and divergence of the alternating series. In this lecture, we will discuss about when this alternating series is said to be absolute convergent or it said to be conditional convergence. So remember, I again said you this test is applicable only for the alternating series. Firstly, I give you the formal definition and then we will explain with the help of 17 numerical examples in this lecture. Any of the series is said to be the converges absolutely if you can if you prove that absolute value of this a n convergent. For example, if I say this is my alternating series, so if you take the absolute value, what is the absolute value of t? This is 1 by n square, which is convergent by using the p -E test. Therefore, this series converges absolutely. If you consider about this example, what is the absolute value of this? Because minus 1 raised to power n is always positive, so which is 1 by n and this is a divergent series by the p test therefore this infinite series is does not converge absolutely once the series is does not converge absolutely then we will look about the terms of conditional convergent any series an is said to be conditional convergent if the original series is convergent but absolute absolute series is divergent then we have to say this is a conditional convergent for example here if i consider the same example this is a divergent series as i discussed here but this is an alternating series so we can easily prove this is a convergent by using leibniz test so here a n is my 1 by n which satisfy all the properties of the leibniz test therefore it is a conditional convergent but how you can verify that whether it is absolute or conditional for that we will state the one theorem called as absolute convergence test what is that test is a series this is convergent if absolute value is my convergent but remember converse is not true the proof is very simple within the two three lines you can prove that assume that the app the series mode of an is convergent and your target is to prove series an is convergent now my target is to prove this series is convergent we can start from here i can add and subtract one mode of an from here I can open this summation and here. This series is convergent which is given to you. So this series is convergent which is given to you. So our target is to prove only this series. Whether this is a convergent, if this is convergent, difference of the two convergent is convergent. If I prove that this is a divergent, so one series is divergent, the total is a divergent. Now we all know that a n is always lies between this. I need more of, I can add mode of a n on the both sides so this part will be zero and this part will be my twice of this now clearly say that if you put this summation on the both side this will be here and zero summation is zero this part is my convergent because here is given to you convergent so by the limit comparison test this is convergent so by limit comparison test this is also convergent series so once this is convergent this is already convergent so the difference of the two convergent series is convergent hence given series is convergent but remember converse is not true this is the same example i consider here so clearly say that this is uh, convergent by using the leibniz test because all of you this satisfied for my here you can see it's a greater than zero it's a decreasing because if you take that derivative with respect to n so it is minus 1 by n square, it is always less than 0 and the limit goes to the 0 as n approaches infinity. So therefore it is a convergent. But if you take the absolute value of this, if you take the absolute value which is a divergent by using p test. So therefore converse need not be true. Now from this summary we will tell you a very important remark for you how you can verify that whether the series that is I remember it's only for the infinite series is convergent when it will be absolute or when it will be conditional so what you can do you always try to start with the mode of a n that is for this series you can start from always here if you prove that this is convergent then this series is convergent always on the other hand 
if this series is not convergent as we discussed in this example this is not convergent then you have to look about this Leibniz test apply the Leibniz test and prove that if it is convergent then we call as the convergent conditional convergent otherwise not so if you prove that this is a uh, convergent by using the Leibniz test then we call as the convergent uh, conditional convergent otherwise we will say it is a divergent so this is the summary which will be applicable to all these examples so let's discuss about 15 to 17 examples in this video so that you can learn more well here this is a alternating series so we can think about this absolute and the conditional so let's firstly start with the absolute what is the absolute value of this you can see absolute value of this is my here now how you can check that so you can apply either on the nth term test you can apply on the nth partial sum sequence you can apply here as a p test you can apply here as a ratio test or a root test or you can apply as a geometric series test any of the tests will be applicable here so clearly says that you all know limit ln upon n is always be greater than of 1 by n why because ln of is always be greater than 1 so now you can take the summation on the both side what is this series this series is my divergent by using p test so once this is divergent so it means this is also divergent so therefore once this is divergent it means this series is my not convergent it means the given series is not absolute convergent so once it is not absolute convergent so it means either it will be the conditional convergent or it will be the divergent so we can check for the conditional convergent we always apply the Leibniz test if you compare this with the help of here what is my a n a n is my ln upon n now look at the first property ln upon n is always be greater than zero so the first property satisfied how you prove the second property we can take the derivative of this a n so it will be n square that is 1 minus l of, of n clearly says that this is my less than zero for all n greater than of e because ln of e is my one therefore it's a decreasing how you can find the limit you can see limit is my zero so all these properties satisfied therefore by Leibniz test this is convergent now this an is this series is convergent but absolute value is not convergent it means this is my conditional convergent look about the another example again this is the alternating series we can start with the absolute convergent how you can prove that we all know that sine of this is always less than of 1 we can divide both sides by n square take the summation on this clearly says that this series is my convergent by p test once this is convergent it means this is also be a convergent what is the value of this that means this is my convergent so therefore this given series is my absolute convergent so therefore this is also be a convergent that means if i prove that this is my convergent this implies this series is also convergent so we can say this is convergent here is convergent absolute so then there is no need to check about the conditional convergence again this is the alternating series so we can start from here we can take the modulus here now you can think about the denominator you can find the relation between this and this because this is a negative sign so this is always be less than of here then we can take the reciprocal we can here we can multiply both sides by log n here and clearly say that as we discussed in the previous example this is greater than of 1 by n now this series is my divergent so once this series is divergent by using the p, te uh, p test this series is also divergent by comparison test once this is divergent it means this series is not absolute convergent once it is not absolute convergent then we will apply for the conditional convergent now we can check for here clearly say that log of n minus log n is always be greater than zero so we can say this is always be the positive so the first property is satisfied take the derivative you can say this is the derivative of this sorry this is not the derivative of this this is instead of this this is ln minus of whole square so clearly says that this is my less than zero for all e it's a decreasing what is the limit of this if you take the limit 
which is uh, zero uh, infinity by infinity we can apply the allopita rule and you can say zero all these conditions satisfied so by the Leibniz test this is convergent but absolute value is not convergent therefore the given series this series is my conditionally convergent look about the another example again this is the alternating series we can start from the absolute convergent if it does not absolute convergent then we can apply for the conditional how you can check about this convergence so clearly says that we know all what is the limit of this use this result this is for all x so if i consider x is my 2 this is 0 but it is a reciprocal so it's a infinity is infinity it means it can never be exist by the nth term test of the divergence this series is my divergent and since both are same so it means this is my divergent what is the meaning of that the given series is not absolute convergent once it is not absolute convergent then we will look about the conditional test so you can see this is my an which is always positive take the derivative because now in this case it is not possible to take that derivative so we can apply for the an plus 1 minus an you can see which is always be greater than 0 because n minus 1 always positive so one of the properties is not satisfied so it means the given series is not convergent what is you conclude that it is not conditional convergent it is not absolute convergent so given series is neither absolute convergent nor so it means this is my divergent series look about that now this is not in the form of here this is not the alternating series so it means you can't apply this conditional or the absolute test but you can make them you can make them to be the conditional convergent how what is the value of the cos n pi which is nothing but minus 1 raised to power n so now you can see this is an alternating series so we can apply the absolute as well as conditional look at that the mode of this so what is this series this series is my convergent by using the p test because p is my greater than 1 so it means the given series is my convergent absolutely so if mode of a n converges absolutely what is the meaning of that a n also converges absolutely so this converges absolutely so it means this is convergent sequence so it means there is no conditional convergent there is only a absolute convergent implies convergent series again look what this is the addition this is the minus 1 raised power so we can start from here now you can think about this and this series so clearly say that when n is 1 is equality when n is 2 you can see that 3 is greater than 2 when n is 3 this is 3 so 6 minus 1 5 and so on so this results holds take the reciprocal on those sides and here now take this summation on the both side so what will happen on this series this series is my divergent series by the p test so therefore this series is also divergent hence by the limit comparison test this is a divergent that means it is not absolute convergent then we will look about the conditional convergent we can apply the Leibniz condition on this a n is my here clearly say that the first condition is my positive we can apply the a n plus 1 minus a n or you can take that derivative of this a n so all these conditions satisfied therefore it is a conditional convergent look at the last example if again this is alternating series so we can start from here this is here now we can since it is a square root of this so we can rationalize them this is it. now we can check what is the nature of this series so either you can compare them or otherwise we can simply take the limit of this a n what is the limit of this you can see that this limit is my half which is non-zero what is the meaning of this non-zero it means by the nth term test it is a divergent sequence series once it's a divergent it means it is not absolute convergent then we will look about the conditional convergent we will check about these conditions clearly says that this is my greater than zero you can check for n is one n is two and so on it is greater than zero you can take that derivative you can see that this is my decreasing sequence and you can take the limit 
how you can take the limit you can rationalize them and you can see limit is my half which is non zero again this this condition is not satisfied so we can say by the limit test this series is not convergent it means the given series is not conditional convergent it's not absolute convergent so this series is my divergent series so this is the way you can think about this absolute and the conditional convergent i hope you can simply learn that we will see the next lecture on the alternating series estimation theorems for the error bound that's what again the important concept i hope you can like share and comment my this videos you can share with your friends best of luck students happy learning